Good morning, dear students. Welcome to the science class. Today we continue our discussion on chapter two, that is, is matter around us pure? In the last class, you learned about suspension, the properties of suspension, the colloidal solution, and the properties of colloidal solution. In today's class, you will learn about how to separate the components of a mixture. Most of the natural substances are not chemically pure. Different methods of separation are used to get individual components from a mixture. Separation makes it possible to study and use the individual components of a mixture. Heterogeneous mixtures can be separated into their respective constituents by using simple physical methods like hand picking, sieving, filtration that we use in our day to day life. Sometimes some special techniques have to be used for the separation of the components of a mixture. First, let us see how can we obtain colored component dye from a blue or black ink. Let's go for an activity. Fill half a beaker with water. Put a watch glass on the mouth of the beaker. Put a few drops of ink on the watch glass. Now start heating the beaker. You know the water in the beaker starts boiling. We do not want to heat the ink directly. You will see that evaporation is taking place from the watch glass. Continue heating as the evaporation goes on and stop heating when you do not see any further changes on the watch glass. Observe carefully and record your observations. On heating the solution, water evaporates and we get back the ink dye in the watch glass. We find that ink is a mixture of a dye in water, thus we can separate the volatile component solvent from its non-volatile solute by the method of evaporation. Second, how can we separate cream from milk? Nowadays, we get full cream toned and double toned varieties of milk packed in polypikes or tetrapikes in the market. These varieties of milk contain different amounts of fat. Take some full cream milk in a test tube, centrifuge it by using centrifuging machine for two minutes. If a centrifuging machine is not available, then you can do this activity at home by using a milk churner used in the kitchen. So take some full cream milk in a test tube, centrifuge it by using centrifuging machine for two minutes. Centrifugation of the milk separates them into skimmed milk and cream at the top. Sometimes the solid particles in a liquid are very small and pass through a filter paper. For such particles, the filtration technique cannot be used for separation. Such mixtures are separated by centrifugation. The principle is that the denser particles are forced to the bottom and the lighter particles stay at the top when spun rapidly. So the denser particles are forced to the bottom and the lighter particles stay at the top when it is spun very rapidly. So what are its applications? It is used in diagnostic lab laboratories for blood and urine dust. It is used in diaries and home to separate butter from cream. It is used in washing machines to squeeze out water from wet clothes. Third, how can we separate a mixture of two immiscible liquids? Let us try to separate kerosene oil from water using a separating funnel. Pour the mixtures of kerosene oil and water in a separating funnel. Here you can see water and kerosene oil. Water is on the lower portion, kerosene on the top portion. Let it stand undisturbed for some time so that separate layers of oil and water are formed. Open the stopcock of the separating funnel and pour out the lower layer of water carefully. Close the stopcock of the separating funnel as the oil reaches the stopcock. We can observe that water is heavier, therefore it sinks at the bottom. When we open the stopcock, the water separates out from the kerosene. An immiscible liquid is a mixture of two or more liquids which do not mix with each other. Here in this case, kerosene oil and water. These are two immiscible liquids which do not mix with each other. The principle is that immiscible liquids separate out in layers depending on their densities. 
what are its applications to separate mixtures mixture of oil and water in the extraction of iron from its ore the lightest slag is removed from the top by this method to leave the molten iron at the bottom in the furnace fourth one how can we separate a mixture of salt and ammonium chloride ammonium chloride changes directly from solid to gaseous state on heating so to separate such a mixture is that contain a sublimable volatile component from a non sublimable impurity in this case salt the sublimation process is used you know what is the meaning of sublimation the change of solid state of a substance directly to gaseous state without changing into the liquid state is called sublimation the change of solid state of a substance directly to gaseous state without changing into the liquid state is called sublimation some examples of solid which is sublime are ammonium chloride camphor naphthalene and anthracene here you can see the mixture of ammonium chloride and salt is taken in a china dish start heating you get the vapors of ammonium chloride dear students this all for today's class hope you all have understood it thank you